हेलो द गाइस वेलकम टू डी नोज वर्ल्ड आई एम ह्योर एट जे एस पी बी एम डब्ल्यू मोटर एट हैदराबाद एंड गेस वॉट सरप्राइज सरप्राइज ह्योर इज द ऑल न्यू बी एम डब्ल्यू एफ नाइन हंड्रेड आर द क्रेजी की कैस टॉक मशीन फ्रॉम बी एम डब्ल्यू विच इज ह्योर टू रीडिफाइन वैल्यू एंड रियली चेंज द गेम इन द मिडल वेट सेगमेंट सो एवरी थिंग दैट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस सुपर torque machine is what is coming up in this video so let's not waste any more time let's get started with this review So this is the BMW F 900R, the new middleweight street naked from BMW Motorrad that poses a serious threat to the likes of the Triumph Street Triple RS and Yamaha MT09. Not only because it has something different and unique on offer, but mainly because of the super aggressive pricing that no one saw coming. Dynamic, progressive, and intuitive are the three words that BMW Motorrad emphasize about this dynamic roadster. Looking at the design, the LED headlamp has multiple lighting elements along with the LED positioned lamp which brings a completely fresh, premium and futuristic design to the segment. It looks sharp, aggressive and muscular. The tank is sculpted to perfection with sharp lines and precise edges highlighting its agile and nimble character. The tank cowl highlights the bike's muscular shoulders giving it the look of an apex predator that's ready to pounce on its prey. The tail section is shorter kind of exposing the rear wheel almost like that of a dragster. The seat is made up of super premium material with the double stitching thereby underscoring the top notch build quality which comes as standard with every BMW Motorrad motorcycle. The cushioning is just about perfect. The handlebar is perfectly set and so are the rider foot pegs. The highlight however is the 6.5 inch full color TFT console which is carried forward from the 850 GS. This is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful looking color TFT consoles available out there. The user interface is quite simple to use. We get all the rider info we need. The controls are intuitive and simple thanks to the jog dial and the switches given on the left handlebar. This provides easy reach and operation. We also get two riding modes namely road and rain. Now powering this bike is an 895 cc parallel twin engine which carries basically the same architecture as that of the F850 GS engine but the cylinder bore is increased by 2 mm which increases the displacement to 895 cc from 853 cc of the 850 GS. Also the power is up to 105 horses at 8500 rpm and the torque is 92 newton meters at 6500 rpm and we get a 6 speed gearbox. Now the main highlight of this engine is the 270 by 450 degree firing order which is designed to simulate the rumble and the torquey nature of a V twin. Also the two opposed counterbalance shafts ensure the vibrations are reduced to bare minimum or you can say just the right amount such that you enjoy the true rumble of a torquey twin. Also the majority of the torque is available from as low down below as 4500 rpm which puts an instant smile on your face each time you ring the throttle wide open the chassis comprises of a bridge type frame with steel shell construction that offers superb rigidity and balance further enhancing the handling characteristics is the cast aluminum dual swing arm and the rear mono shock that comes with adjustable spring preload and rebound damping we also get a steering damper to mitigate the kickback effect when the front wheel lands after pulling off a wheelie the bike featured here is the standard model now additional features like gear shift assist which includes a quick shifter and an auto blipper pro riding modes like dynamic and dynamic pro cruise control heated grips anti theft alarm and tire pressure monitoring system can be retrofitted as optional extras we do get an anti hopping clutch which in simple terms means a slipper clutch now this prevents the rear wheel from locking or hopping under harsh braking scenarios and also provides for a lighter clutch pull 
Talking about tyres, we get Bridgestone Batlax Hypersport S21 tyres with a 120 by 70 tyre up front and a 180 by 55 tyre at the back. We get 17 inch wheels at both ends. Now talking about suspension, we get non-adjustable 43mm USD forks up front and a monoshock at the back. Talking about the brakes, we get dual 320mm discs up front with radially mounted 4 piston calipers and yes we do get Brembo brakes. At the back we get a 265mm disc with single piston floating caliper. Now talking about other noteworthy specs, seat height is 815mm which I feel is manageable for shorter and average height riders and kind of perfect for taller riders. I did ride the bike from the stockyard to the showroom which is a very short distance but yet I could get a feel of the bike. It feels perfectly balanced and the handling is absolutely spectacular. I really wish I could get my hands on a demo bike such that I can do my signature top speed test and a comprehensive review of this amazing machine. The bike weighs 211 kgs on paper but feels extremely easy to handle once you're on the go which talks about the engineering brilliance of BMW Motorrad. The claimed top speed is 216 km per hour. Tank capacity is 13 litres which is decent but I was hoping for at least a 15 litre tank to get some good tank range. I'm expecting the cruising speed on the highways to be around 120 to 130 km per hour which should be effortless on this bike. Now coming to the price, the price of the F900R here in India is Rs 9.9 lakhs ex showroom. Now this is what makes the 900R such an interesting launch from BMW. So far we only had the 310 twins at the entry level and then had the 750GS and the 850GS as the only other option which were priced above 15 lakhs. Now this 900R though has been priced so aggressively despite being manufactured in Berlin, Germany. So you get a quality product with the rich heritage of BMW Motorrad, we get quality equipment, a unique roadster character oozing abundance of torque and styling that is completely fresh and contemporary in the segment. I feel this is a game changing launch from BMW Motorrad here in India and it will be interesting how our motorcycling community reacts to this. I will be featuring the F900XR in the next video so please stay tuned for that and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to be the first to get all the updates from Dino's world. I will catch you guys in the next video until then take care god bless and ride safe.